What did the universe look like when the first galaxies formed? What are gravitational waves? How does magnetism work throughout the universe? Come si forma nei pianeti? How many gravitational waves are passing through me right now? What is dark matter? What is the impact of magnetic fields on the formation of galaxies? Estaba Einstein en lo correcto? And for me, the most important is there, is there life out there? We ask ourselves, what is the most useful thing that a radio telescope can contribute to the answer to these big questions? We are building a time machine. We're looking at what, what, what our surroundings were like almost at their inception. The question is, how are we actually going to make this happen? We're building what, what will be the largest science facility ever built by mankind. To be able to achieve the scientific goals that we want it to be able to achieve, we need to create a machine which is less a telescope, it's almost more an IT machine. We're pushing technology to its limits. What we're talking about now is two telescopes. Our site is in the middle of the Western Australian desert. Far away from towns, radio interference, anything that could impact on the science that we're trying to do. We've already started, we've got antennas at the site, we'll have hundreds of thousands more, it'll stretch out beyond the horizon. We're building hundreds of dishes in a remote location in the middle of South Africa. And it's really tough, it's a hot environment, it's a dry environment. These dishes are going to spread out over literally hundreds of kilometers. A project like this can only come to stand as scientists worldwide work together. We've got to get 500 engineers to work together over 20 countries in all the time zones in the world. It's, it's like building a jigsaw puzzle, but the pieces keep changing. Part A being designed in one place fits to part B being designed literally on the other side of the world. Every new telescope, there are always new discoveries, and they are never the discoveries you build a telescope for. We're almost bound to discover something new, something that will disrupt our current everyday life. That generates new knowledge now. Huge amounts of data. Imagine the amount of data that's flowing through the internet at any one moment. We're talking about that kind of level coming out steadily. The SK can do for interplanetary exploration what broadband did for the internet. We're doing this now. There's equipment on the ground in South Africa and Australia. Radio waves gives us a, a unique way of probing the deep universe. We can do all of this by picking up incredibly faint signals. Radio waves coming from the dawn of the universe. What we will discover is the unknown. We're going to build the real thing, it's not just dreaming.